Okay everybody, this is going to be an assembly tutorial on um, exactly how to go about um, creating an assembly file and just kind of shows you the basic layout layout of how an assembly file uh, program is put together. Uh, so we'll go right off the beginning we're going to start and we're going to point out that we're going to be using an, assembl an assembler called um, I'm not exactly sure how you pronounce the name. I call it uh, NAS, essentially. But anyways, it has three divisions, three sections in the file. You have your data section that contains data, and we'll get into many of these. You have three sections. You have the data section. You have what is called the BSS section, and you also have the text section. Now, inside of the uh, data section, this is where you have variables that are initialized upon creation for instance as you can see there's a hello variable um, and this variable is initialized with a certain value okay and as you can see a variable name is nothing more than a con than a, a label it is just a label uh, which refers back to the data section of the program and um, when the program is actually run the name of the variable is replaced by a number and that number specifies the address of that variable in memory so as you can see here there's a variable called hello and the DB stands for um, defined bytes as you can see um, and in this particular variable is the name uh, is referring to a constant string uh, saying this is an example string and the 10 at the end of it after the comma signifies to return to the next it's a new line uh, carriage and you have another variable that has a special little symbol next to it um, it's called hello length and it has the EQ U and that basically means that this variable is a constant Okay, and moving on to the next section, you have the BSS section. This is where you actually have your real variables. Of course, variables are anything that can change during the time, the run time of your variable. So back in the data section, these variables like hello will never change. Their values are constant, as opposed to the BSS section where the variables are modifiable and can change as your program goes on and these have a special uh, different set of uh, keywords associated with declaring these particular types of variables like uh, variable number one has something uh, called um, the reserve byte the RESB uh, reserve byte uh, with the value of 255 that tells the compiler and uh, NAS to reserve 255 bytes of character or of, uh, value for variable number one uh, and following at the same time with variable two it says to reserve only one byte and with variable three it tells it to reserve one word which is two bytes pretty self-explanatory so we just covered the data section and the BSS section and of course we highlighted that the data section contains constant variables as opposed to the BSS section which contains changeable modifiable real variables and the most and jumping to the next important part of um, an assembly file is the text section this is where the programs are held as you can see it, it has um, your you, you can start coding at this point. Now, all assembly programs, especially ones that are the start, the, the main entry to the program, must have a global underscore start, start at its beginning. That lets the operating system know, in this case, so I'm talking about Linux, it lets Linux know where to start. Uh, uh, where to start uh, running the program this signifies the start of the program it's equivalent to C++ or C where you have void main or uh, integer main 
or so and from this point you can start coding an example file so from everything we just talked about would be one of the following you have a file name just for a file that ASM they must have the extension of ASM okay so we kind of just going through it uh, you have your hello file and you have um, the length of the hello variable and we went ahead and not um, declared a BSS section we just jumped right into the text section and of course right after the uh, label starts is when the code actually goes on and I, I will ta make more tutorials specifically talking about what is going on in this particular program but if you read real quick along the comments provided in green you can see what's going on um, in that respect let's jump into how to compile this okay basically you go to your command shell and you type in uh, this as follows the um, F speci specifies the fi file format that you wish and the file name of course is the file to which you wish to compile and next you use the LD which means linker uh, to actually generate an executable file in this case the executable file is going to be output file name and you get to name this whatever you wish and this is your original file well, um, after compiling over here so you compile you run this to compile to generate this file name and then you link it to create an executable and after which you can just go ahead and run your program so thank you for um, taking the time to watch this tutorial I hope I hope this has proved useful to you and if you could please go ahead and subscribe, I will be making more videos about C++ and assembly and how to utilize each. So please uh, comment and subscribe. Thank you.